Well, you guys are just with me making the zucchini relish. But what do you do with these really, really big zucchinis <laughs> that come in? You're just like, I don't know what to do with you, but I've got an idea. I've done this once before and we're gonna do it again together. You could totally use these for zucchini relish, absolutely. You can use them for the pineapple zucchini that I've got a video on, lots of things, but we are going to make zucchini applesauce. Yes, we are. I am, you can make zucchini um, apple pie filling, but I wanna make applesauce. So that's what we're gonna do. There's a lot of mature seeds in here. I don't want that in my applesauce. So I've just got my ice cream scoop and I'm just gonna scoop those seeds out. Fast way to do it. Um, and my, I know myself well enough to know at the end of the season, um, I'm not gonna feel like, I don't have, an, my apples are not mature on my apple trees. Um, you know, my trees aren't mature enough to give me an apple harvest yet. And it's been a long time since I've gone and actually bought apples. So instead of going and buying stuff, let me just use what I've got and we're gonna make it work. Um, I'm excited and uh, I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, well now that I have those all seeded, I'm gonna just chop this in chunks and I'm gonna throw it in my slow cooker. If you had all the right ingredients, you would um, want applesauce with you right now. I don't have any applesauce in the house, or not applesauce, you would want some apple juice. Um, I don't have any apple juice in the house right now, so um, I'm gonna run to the store after I throw these in there and just get like a, a quart of apple juice to throw in. And then we're gonna put this on slow cook while today's still that boat day while I go out on the boat and these will cook down. And then we will add some cinnamon to it when I get back, puree it all together, and we're gonna have us some zucchini applesauce. So, um, things to keep on hand, I have you know what? I may have some apple juice from canning last year downstairs. I need to go check. Um, I might. We'll see. So hopefully this all fits in my slow cooker. I saw the absolute cutest slow cooker for sale. If I didn't have one, I would buy this one. It, I'll leave, a, maybe try to throw, have Todd put a picture here for you guys. You know, those little, I'm a, a hard and true Amazon shopper and they had a slow cooker that looked like an igloo cooler. I don't know who made it, but it had like, it was red with the white, you know, seal and the lid even opened like a cooler and it had the handle. And on the front, there was like a little what dry erase board like that you could write, like if you were going to a potluck, what was in the pot. Oh my gosh. Now what would make it perfect for like tailgating is if it came with like an adapter plug, but um, so cute, I just, fell in love with it. I'm like, too bad I've already got one because <laughs> that would be really cute. Um, so this is just something that I came up with in my head. I Googled it. I didn't see any recipes. There are recipes out there to make zucchini applesauce with like part zucchini and part apples. Um, but if you can make zucchini apple pie, like mock zucchini apple pie filling, why can't you make mock zucchini applesauce, I said to myself. So 
that's what we're doing. Just one way, I tell you what, these zucchinis, I'm just having the best year. And I've had years where, you know, I got maybe one or two. So I know it's not a guaranteed success every year just based on my own experience. So while I have it, we're gonna use every bit of it. Oh yeah, this is not all gonna fit. I might have to get the big roaster out. Okay, I did get my roaster out and lucky for me, my son Nick is on his way to the house. So to go on the boat with us, I'm like, can you stop and get me some apple juice? <laughs> So as soon as he comes back, I will we'll show you how much um, apple juice I add into this. I think I'm just gonna add it to probably cover. You know, we're just making this up as we go. I have one more zucchini that just came in from the garden this morning and one more um, squash. So I'm gonna do those as well. Throw those in there and um, then we're gonna be good. I was just looking as I walked away, you guys probably see my, <laughs> my kitchen table. Just took one week to fill back up and we've got Four pumpkins, two baskets of tomatoes, the basket of pears that are ready. They ripened well while I was gone. And a whole nother bucket of jalapenos and bell peppers to be taken care of. Um, so we will do the same uh, thing with those. The I'm worried that if I am even gonna get to those tomatoes before I need to just turn them into sauce or something because um, I wanted them to be my salsa. But the garden is, you know, I didn't have that good potato harvest, that's for sure. But there's other things that I can't complain at all because it's just been a wonderful year in the garden. Um, I pulled all my green beans um, the bush beans out. I was done with those. Um, they still had plenty to give, but I was done with them because they're not my favorite. And I want to just put that garden bed, um, garden bed to bed for the fall. Um, so get it all cleaned up so I can just start wrapping up here this gardening season. And um, yeah. Life is great right now. I'm excited. All right, so last of this in here. Let me just show you how much we got going on. Chickens are gonna love these scraps. So not quite full, but a good amount. We're gonna probably, let's see. This cooks down really well though. So we'll probably go about half the height of the zucchini with the apple juice. And um, I'll probably add a little lemon juice to it as well. All right, well, Nick showed up to the rescue with some just plain 100% apple juice. So I'm just gonna add that till I'm about, hmm, we'll go a third of the way. I'll show you what I mean. Probably the whole thing, yep. All right. So, get that out of the way, yeah. Good third. And now I'm just gonna, I've got it set to 200 degrees in my roaster, and we're gonna walk away, and I'm gonna go out on the lake, and then when we come back, we might be ready to can it tonight. Good morning. Didn't get back to you last night. We had a wonderful time out on the boat and stayed out late. But I will tell you, ooh, you guys got foggy. <laughs> All right, I will tell you when I got home, this may end up turning into Rachel's test kitchen. 
because when I got home, you know, I just added the one quart of apple juice and so much of the zucchini was out of the apple juice and it just smelled like sauteed zucchini. So I added the other quart, let me show you. So it is really, really full of juice. And the thing is, let me set you back down. This is way too much juice for zucchini. And some of the, it's softening, but it's not like super soft. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the zucchini out, run it through my processor to get it the desired consistency of applesauce. Um, and then we will add back the juice that I need for any juice that I need. And then we'll um, add a little bit of sweetener and the seasonings for taste. I think that's the plan. And we'll see if we can't still pull out a zucchini applesauce. Yeah, this morning it does not smell that overwhelming uh, sauteed zucchini smell. So I think we're getting close. So, but I'm gonna have my coffee first and then I'll be back. Probably won't, um, you know, talk while I'm doing the processing. That'll be um, off camera, but I'll bring you guys back and show you the after processed product before I add the liquid to it. Okay, I think we are getting somewhere. Look at this. Now, hindsight is always 2020, right? Probably should have peeled it. Makes sense, right? I was being quick and fast and somewhat lazy. So if you're gonna do this, definitely, I would recommend peeling it. But I don't care, I'm gonna probably use this in, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, <laughs> how are you gonna use this, Rachel? I'm probably gonna use this mostly um, like making quick muffins, quick breads. Um, I think it would be great as a glaze, like on a pork roast. Um, I'm sure I'll come up with all kinds of ways to use it and I, I will honestly probably, I got a grandbaby coming. Hey, it's a great, healthy, healthy snack for a grandbaby and they need to get their veggies in. So mom, grandbaby's gonna have some zucchini sauce for snacks when they come over. So I'm getting all of, now it made quite a bit of juice. I, you know, I did a lot more research since I told you guys yesterday that I could not find any recipes for it, but I started looking for applesauce in quotes using that Google search. And I did find quite a few ladies out there that have made it. Um, no one was showing, I don't, maybe there was one that showed pressure canning it. Um, they all peeled it just to let you know. Some of them had some really smart ideas though, instead of, you know, using the apple juice to give it the apple flavor. I guess they make like a, kind of like, I guess like a lemon or vanilla or almond extract, but like an apple um, flavoring that you could add to it. Um, certainly you can just mix this in with normal applesauce and just extend an apple harvest or an apple, you know, apples going bad in your fridge or something. But we're just, it took on a decent amount enough um, apple flavoring um, with the apple juice that I am now just scraping out the last little bit of pulp out of the juice that I can get. And we're going to season it with some cinnamon, nutmeg, and then I have, um, I'll show you how much. And we're just gonna do this to taste. I had about this much maple syrup in my fridge and that's maple syrup that we made and then this much corn syrup in the fridge that I just made. So we're gonna use both of those for any additional sweetening. It really doesn't need much, but I might add a little bit. And then we're gonna process these. I got the jars in the dishwasher. So as soon as I shut this camera off, I'll turn those on and get those nice and sterilized. And ooh, yeah, I'm excited. All right, let me get the rest of this out. I'll bring you down here, show you about how much seasoning I'm adding. And um, the house is about to smell really, really good. Let's turn this eye on. 
Just got it on medium. And I'm probably gonna add uh, about three tablespoons of cinnamon to start, maybe two. And then we will add our nutmeg. There's not much left. Okay, we'll go about that much. <laughs> and then I think I'll start with just this last little bit of maple syrup. And if that's enough, then we'll just stick with that. Honestly, it really doesn't need it. It's um, just the slightest bit sweet right now. Just kind of a light, maybe a little bit less than a natural applesauce would taste with no sugar. Let's get the stir in. So tell me your ideas on how to use this. Like I'm thinking it's gonna be even so good with like raisins, just like eaten with as a snack during the winter with a fresh slice of homemade bread. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I think it looks nice and rustic with the peel on it. Um, kind of just has that old world charm, I think. Mm. Okay, now we, this smells like you just went to the um, apple orchard. This smells great. Like if you had apple pie, um, Flavoring, you know, that would be yummy in here. Oh, all right. I'm just gonna bring this back up to heat, get my jars ready, and we will be pressure canning this just out of extra precaution um, because there's not much juice to it. I don't think enough acidity to safely um, can this water bathing, so I will be pressure canning this today. Got all kinds of things going on in the kitchen right now. So we're gonna get this applesauce canned up. I've got yesterday's videos or the last video's stuff in the canner right now behind me. If you missed that, it's another zucchini. Yummy, my favorite probably. So let me switch out spoons. Todd said the house sure smells like applesauce, <laughs> which is good. So I'm gonna get this loaded up in the jar. And I think I told you guys I was gonna pressure can it. I'm not, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna water bath it for 25 minutes. But if you wanted to be like super, super safe, just go ahead and pressure can it for the same amount of time. I can't wait to make some falls quick breads with this. Like a applesauce, ban zucchini applesauce banana bread or a zucchini applesauce spice bread. I think it's gonna be yummy. I know it's gonna be yummy. I don't think, I know. All right, one more. And then we will debubble everything and get our rims cleaned up and sealed up and into the canner. Since I'm not pressure canning it, I am gonna go back through and add about a tablespoon of lemon juice to each jar. Just to raise up the acidity. This will not affect the flavor of this whatsoever. And then we are going to, like I said, wipe our rims get them in the canner with our other zucchini goodies. And I will end the video like I always do, showing you what they look like coming out of the canner. And just if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do it. And this fall, I bet you see me break out one of these jars and use it in a recipe. Cause that's one of my favorite things to do over the winter months is show you then how I cook with all my preserved foods. So that'll be fun, can't wait. And there we go, some zucchini applesauce. So, like I said, I probably would encourage you to peel it if you had the time, just cause I think it would look prettier and be more convincing to others that it was actually applesauce, but for our household, it's no big deal.
Canner is done, so I'm going to just let those sit there till they calm down about 10 minutes, and then we'll pull them out of the canner and I'll show you what they look like.